Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you're joining me. Make sure you throw on your paint shirt like I have and I'll lead you through this Maude Lewis inspired rock art. So you're gonna need some materials. So you need a primed rock, some acrylic paint, different colors, whatever you have, some paint brushes, some water to rinse off your paint brushes, and some different colored paints depending on the picture you're going to be using. This is the picture I'm going to be using today. I think it's great spring inspired. We have some American golden finch in there. Maude Lewis was an Atlantic Canadian folk artist. She was born in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, and she's known for painting extremely bright, happy, colorful paintings. If you'd like to know a bit more about her, pause during these two slides so you can read and learn more. Folk art can be described as art that is of the people, for the people, and by the people. These artists are interested in making art that tells stories about daily life or the culture of their community. Maude Lewis tended to paint scenery or events that happened in her everyday life, so it's a great chance to explore the concepts of foreground, middle ground, and background. So as you can see in the examples of her paintings that I've put here, she typically uses really joyful colors. She paints animals and scenery that she sees all around her and that she appreciates within her community. Maude Lewis is an incredibly inspiring artist and individual because of her resilience in the face of adversity and the hardships that she experienced. She was born with some physical exceptionalities as well as living in poverty in the small town in Nova Scotia that she lived in, but in light of those struggles, she was known as an incredibly joyful and happy individual. So I'm starting the painting process of this rock by looking at the background colors, which in my photograph is blue, but I encourage you to pick whichever photo speaks to you um, and to use it as inspiration to interpret it in your very own way. One thing that's particularly amazing about Maude Lewis's artwork is that she would use materials and resources that were available to her. So she actually painted on wooden shingles very frequently, um, and sometimes she would paint on canvases. It really depended what she had at her disposal. So while we wait for our background to dry, I wanted to give you some fun facts about the American Golden Finch. So the American Golden Finch have both summer and winter plumages, which is unusual for finches. Their bright yellow summer plumage is unmistakable, but in winter, males are often difficult to distinguish from the females. So moving on from the background to painting the body of the American Golden Finch. So I'm just looking at the shape of the picture both in Maude Lewis's artwork and just going with what I think the body of the finch would look like. So I'm not being too specific with where I'm placing the yellow, just getting that color down. Next, I'll be moving on to painting the branches of my tree that the bird will be sitting in. I'm not going to touch the, the American Golden Finch anymore for now so it can dry thoroughly. You can see I'm just placing branches one by one. Smaller ones, bigger ones, leaving gaps. And ta-da! Next, we're moving on to the leaves on the tree. I'm placing my paintbrush down and then dragging it slowly away from the brown branches to create a leaf pattern. And then I repeat this over and over again until I have all my leaves. Next, we're painting our flowers. So the same strategy I used to paint the leaves, I'm using to paint the flowers. So I'm pre pressing my brush down and dragging the paint outward. And then repeating this process and taking my time to place lots of nice bright white flowers around my bird. The great part about interpreting an artist's work is that it doesn't have to be an exact copy. In fact, better yet, it's awesome to make it your own unique version of their artwork. So in Maude's painting, she actually had three birds, but I'm just doing the one and really focusing on making those flowers nice and bright with that pink. You'll see me pour some more yellow paint and next we're adding the center to our flowers. Next, I'm adding some light green to the edges of my leaves just to make them stand out even more. Growing up, my mom actually introduced me to Maude Lewis's artwork. 
And ever since then, I've been a huge fan and have looked to her for inspiration in my own artwork very frequently. Here you can see me adding the final black detail to my finch, just really carefully painting those on as to not interrupt any of the other colors on my rock. So you'll see me painting the wing with small strokes and a dot for the eye, adding some detail to the ends of the wing tips to make them look nice and feathery. And I gave my bird an open mouth like they were singing, which is great because spring is here and I am ready for the warmer weather. And here's a look at the final product. I love the bright colors and the nice spring theme. If you give this a try with yourself or with your kiddos or students, make sure to retweet and share with your friends and family. I hope you have a great day from wherever you're watching. Get out and enjoy some sunshine and hear those birds chirping.